So you bought yourself an old tractor. Well, maybe I will show you some things that could be wrong with it. This is my Kubota B7100D. I believe it's a 1978. It has a D753 cylinder. It has a factory lift on it. Loader, I should say. And I'm going to go over a couple things with you right out of the gate that this thing needed. So I might throw some pictures up, but the steering box was completely shot, so I had to rebuild that. And it was about $100 in parts. Let's move on. As you can see, these tires are pretty dry rotted, and the rim is rusted out in a few places. This tire specifically doesn't hold air anymore for very long. And to be honest, the rears are pretty far gone too, but I think the wheel is in pretty good shape. Back here, the uh, PTO shaft is locked on. I tried just about everything to get it off, so that's going to be a bit of a battle. Probably can't tell from the video, but the seal in the cylinder is bad, so anytime I'm using the tractor, it's literally leaving a pile of oil. If the sour meter is accurate, she's got 1813.8 hours, and I've put about 13.8 on it. A couple things I really love about this old tractor here. So we got a three-speed PTO output. We have a three-speed with reverse transmission with a high-low, so giving us six forward speeds. We also have four-wheel drive here, and we have the locking differential for the rear. Got a little gas pedal up there. Got split brakes. This is the throttle shutoff. And this right here, this is the decompression valve for starting and clutch. So since the tires were bad, I got some factory rims from Kubota. I got some uh, Carcel? Carcel? Whatever. Uh, 16 plus tires for the front. And I got some BKTs for the rear, which are an 816. So we'll go ahead and we will pull the rear wheels off so a friend of mine can get those mounted. So I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but I paid 5000 for the tractor. I got about 1000 bucks in new wheels, tires that need to go on. I got maybe 100 in parts in rebuilding the steering column and probably about 50 bucks in the oil change. I think this was like 100 bucks. Um, gonna go ahead and do a fluid change on it soon and probably refill the hydraulics for the front end loader. Included in that five grand was also this home built backhoe for it, which is way too heavy for the tractor, but it does run it. Like somebody put some real time and money into this to do it. It also came with this Kubota snowblower, which will probably never get used because I don't want to take the loader off. And it also came with this big Howard tiller. So for five grand, I cannot complain. Well, that kind of concludes the beginning of this video at least. So, you know, hopefully we'll do some more videos of in the future, maybe get it out working and stuff. Um, I have some other things in the works too. I know it's forever since I posted a video. That's who I am. That's how I be. So I'll show you what else we got going. Hopefully here soon I'll have this plasma cam DCH2 plasma table up and running. Just got to get it kind of plumbed in and that'll definitely help with fabricating different stuff. And the old Thummins, she's still up and kicking. Hopefully here soon I will do a 20,000 mile for the swap update and uh, we'll talk about maybe some future things we're going to do to it. So that's it for that. Signing off and we'll talk to you soon.